Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create your first strip board. Before I begin this lesson, make sure you have some breakdown sheets, either by importing a screenplay or by creating them manually. Also, make sure you have at least one phase with some shoot days attached to it. The strip board allows you to organize your breakdown sheets on shoot days. It is incredibly easy to use and allows for easy customization of how your strips appear. From the toolbar, select the strip board button. Enter a name for your first board. A schedule can have more than one board and I will show you how to add a second board later. I'm going to call this board default. Next, you must attach the board to a production phase. We learned about production phases and shoot days in a previous lesson. Attaching a board to a particular phase allows you to use the breakdown sheets that are attached to that phase only. Click OK. Next, you will see all your breakdown sheets in a strip format. Here, you can see why the colors are so important. The yellow strips are exterior day, the white strips are interior day, and the blue strips are interior night, etc. To see the color coordination of the strips, select Stripboard Colors from the Edit pull-down menu. Here you can change the colors of the strips based on the day-night field and the interior-exterior field. You can also change the daybreak color, which by default is black, or the banner color, or the highlight color. Let's go back to the strip board. You have four layout or view options accessible from the layout pull-down menu. We are looking at the horizontal layout right now. There is also a horizontal thin option and a vertical option. By default, your strips are created on the strip board in screenplay import order as you can see here by the scene column. At the end of the board, you will see your shoot days for the production phase, also known as your daybreak strips. Let's schedule our first shoot day. We're going to shoot all of our apartment scenes on the first day. So what you want to do is clump together all those scenes. Just drag and drop the apartment scenes one at a time until they are all grouped together but we want them at the top of the board before these two scenes. So grab them all by selecting the shift key and then drag them to the top of the board. Next, we want to insert a daybreak right here after the last apartment scene. There are two ways to do this. You can scroll down to the bottom of the board and drag the first shoot day up to this position or you can highlight the last apartment scene and then select the Insert Daybreak button. This will insert the first shoot day after the selected strip. We have now scheduled our first day of shooting. Notice on the top right of the board, it says Board Not Saved. Every time you rearrange the board, it does not automatically save the changes. So let's go ahead and save this board by selecting the Save button. Notice the red Board Not Saved is gone. If you close the strip board and then come back to it later, all your changes will be saved. The second you move a strip, the current board is not saved. Next, I want to explain board IDs. Notice on the left-hand side of the board, there is a list of all your characters. This is called a header board. Each character should have a board ID, which is a numeric number. If you do not have an ID attached to your characters, see the lesson on board IDs. On the board, here in this column, you will see the number or the ID of the character in this scene. So, for the first day of shooting, the characters with the ID of 1 and 3 are needed. This will help you tremendously when organizing your strip board. Lastly, I want to go over page count. If your scenes have a page count attached to them, 
And if you import it from Final Draft or a Movie Magic Screenwriter, then they will have a page count. The Daybreak strip will automatically calculate your total page count for the day. So here, as you can see, the first day of shooting includes four and one-eighths pages of script. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.